President al-Assad affirms Syria's keenness to enhance cooperation with Iran at the economic level in a manner that goes in line with the distinguished political and historical relations between the two countries. Terrorists blow up Yalb Gabath house in Aleppo and destroy adjacent old buildings. Following the beheading of American journalist Sotlo by ISIL terrorists, Obama acknowledges that the terrorist group poses a threat to the whole region. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our news for today. President Bashar al-Assad received today engineer Rustam Qasimi, head of the Iranian-Syrian Economic Relations Development Committee, and the delegation accompanying him. Talks centered on the economic cooperation between Syria and the Iranian Islamic Republic and the prospects of developing such cooperation and enhancing it in various sectors in the interest of both friendly people. Qasimi praised Syria's confrontation of the war to which it has been exposed and his country's appreciation of the Syrian people's sacrifices in the face of terrorism, which has not prevented them from continuing their pioneer role within the axis of resistance. Qasimi stressed the Iranian leadership's keenness to work with Syria to consolidate the factors of its steadfastness and Iran's readiness to offer its expertise and all that is necessary to help Syria in terms of the reconstruction file. On his part, President al-Assad affirmed Syria's keenness to enhance cooperation and coordination with Iran at the economic level in a manner that matches the distinguished political and historical relations between the two countries. President al-Assad affirmed that the Syrian people welcome Iran's readiness to contribute to the file of reconstruction as well as the readiness of other friendly countries in this respect, voicing high appreciation for Iran's stand on Syria's side in the face of the schemes that target the people of the region and their common interests. In a vicious attempt to target the historical sites of ancient Aleppo, terrorists blew up at dawn today a tunnel which connects the ancient Yabgabath house with the governorate old building in the old section of Aleppo, causing the destruction of a number of nearby houses. Our TV camera registered the scenes of destruction in the place. In Aleppo, Syrian Arab army units have eliminated many gunmen in the surroundings of Aleppo Castle, As-Sakhur, and Bustan al-Qasr neighborhoods, as well as in al Ramun, ancient Aleppo, and Al-Atarib, and destroyed a number of their cars and vehicles. Another Syrian Arab army unit also destroyed a number of cars and trucks with the terrorists inside in four villages in Aleppo suburbs. Syrian Arab army units have killed and wounded many terrorists, some of whom were non-Syrians in the surroundings of three villages in Idlib suburbs. Other Syrian Arab army units targeted terrorist gatherings on Idlib Harim Road, killing and wounding several armed men and destroying their machine gun provided vehicle. In Homs suburbs, several armed men were killed or injured and their weapons and ammunition were destroyed by Syrian Arab army soldiers in three sites. Terrorists were also targeted and eliminated in six villages in Homs eastern countryside. Syrian Arab army units also killed and wounded a number of armed men northeast of Busra Sham in Dara'a suburbs. In the city of Dara'a, the Syrian Arab army targeted and destroyed a number of vehicles that were coming from the Jordanian borders in the direction of Kharab al-Shuhamma and Tafas villages and killed the ter terrorists inside. They also foiled an infiltration attempt by terrorists in the direction of the center of Dara'a, killing and wounding some of them. Another infiltration attempt by armed men in the direction of Sasa was also thwarted. Their machine gun provided vehicle was destroyed. The Syrian Arab army continues to advance in Jobar in Damascus, destroying terrorist hideouts and combing a number of buildings in other areas in the governorate of Damascus countryside. Syrian Arab army units have killed and wounded a number of gunmen and destroyed several warehouses that contained arms and ammunition and a series of operations in Jobar, Eastern Ghouta and other areas in Damascus countryside.
The Army seized a terrorist hideout and podiums designed for launching mortar shells and locally made rockets and took control of a number of buildings and houses in the center of Jobar, which had been used by terrorists. Syrian Arab Army units also defused a number of explosive devices planted by terrorists. A number of military operations have been meanwhile carried out in Zamelka, Arbin, and Ain Terma, where the Syrian Arab Army scored direct hits among the terrorists and destroyed destroyed the arms and ammunition. Other gunmen were eliminated in Alia farms in Duma. In Azerbaijani, also in Damascus countryside, a Syrian Arab army unit targeted a terrorist hideout in Al Mahata neighborhood, killing a number of gunmen. Syrian Arab army soldiers moreover targeted terrorist gatherings in Al Husseiniya and Khan al Sheikh in Damascus southwestern suburbs. Several gunmen were killed or wounded. A series of military operations were also executed in Sasan and Najjar farm. Many gunmen were killed or wounded and their hideouts were destroyed. Welcome back. Following the crime of beheading the American journalist Stephen Sutlow by ISIL terrorists, U.S. President Barack Obama said that the terrorist group poses a threat not just to Iraq, but to the region as a whole. Obama pointed out that the U.S. will exert all efforts to eradicate the terrorist organization and will not succumb to threats. The U.S. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expressed outrage and heinous act of beheading the American journalist Stephen Sotlow by the so-called ISIL terrorist, the second American to be executed after slaying journalist James Foley. For its part, the White House announced the terrorist group ISIL represents a threat to the world peace and that all efforts will be made to eradicate its danger. Head of the Foreign Affairs Committee in the House of Representatives, Ed Rice, said that the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry will be summoned by the Congress for a hearing session on ways of combating ISIL threats, adding that this did not mean sending U.S. troops to the area, but conducting intensive airstrikes on ISIL targets. Iraqi armed forces continued to chase ISIL terrorists in the districts of Salah al-Din, Tikrit, and Al-Ambar. Iraqi fighter jets conducted airstrikes on ISIL positions in Tikrit, killing one of ISIL readers named Abdul Samad Abdul Karim Mahdi. An Iraqi source stressed that a mass exodus by the terrorists have been detected in Salah al-Din province after sustaining heavy losses. Finally, in the wake of the Israel aggression on Gaza Strip, the UN General Commissioner for Palestinian Refugees, Krembal, called for lifting the Israeli siege on Gaza. Krembal pointed out that rebuilding Gaza could take more than a decade to finish. He added that more than 20,000 Palestinian homes were destroyed, as the infrastructure was also heavily damaged. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Vanny Gunjan, but after a short break.